Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to be continuing on again with this Series 6 preparation as we await those rules to drop next week on the 1st of September with a very fun, comfy Lapras Gudra team. So it's uh, prominent in the format at the minute. Gudra obviously picking up a lot of kind of usage at the end of the back end of series five and it's carrying on into series six. It is still going to be eligible. Comfy really coming into its own is a very good supporting Pokemon offers Trick Room. Obviously those priority healing moves and ways to boost Gudra with its Sap Sipper ability and also it kind of pairs nicely with weakness policy Lapras. You can max and then you can obviously proc the weakness policy before getting the Aurora Veil off making it very powerful. The rest of the team is made up with a ferrothorn uh, helps us uh, definitely in that trick room mode we've just went with a regular kind of iron defense body press variant with leech seed helps against things like primarina in particular and you know uh, if your opponent hasn't got the right kind of tools to deal with ferrothorn it can kind of win a game by itself so always something nice to throw on there then we've got the arcanine uh, gives us intimidate support and a nice fast snarl to lower the uh, special attack of but potential threats like Porygon Z and talking about Porygon Z we've also got Dark uh, Urshifu fighting Dark fighting Urshifu uh, in the last slot with the Focus Sash also something very good against um, opposing Porygon Z's and other things that would become uh, a little bit threatening so this is the team as always what we'll do we are on the casual ladder at the minute because the ranked battle ladder hasn't updated uh, so we'll have a couple of games with the team and um, kind of pilot it and then we'll showcase the rental team for you guys to try when the rank ladder starts officially for next tuesday after the uh, at the end of the video and uh, as always there is a poker paste down below in the description if you want to just grab that and jump on showdown or anything like that uh, with the team and if you do try it out please let me know how you get on with it what your thoughts are around this comfy uh, lapras g max lapras um the gudra kind of variant is or if you've got your own build there, there is a lot of builds at the minute and um, this is the kind of build that i thought would work quite well quite standard and does all the things that you kind of want it to do so funny enough we got our first opponent it is a series six team legal of course uh, very reminiscent of the uh, team that we've already featured on the channel this week earlier on if you did miss that obviously you want to check out the um sneasel colossal uh Kobalion team i'll link it up in the the, the top right hand corner so you can check that out so uh this is going to be very tricky for us um uh, particularly because <clears throat> really we want our trick room up but because we haven't got the focus sash on comfy we've kind of opted for that mental herb it does cause us a few issues because um they're going to be easily able to get their surf or their beat up off um and kind of start doing some big damage early on um and it is very very tricky i mean we can go weakness policy with lapras hope that we take the attack from colossal which we should do um and then kind of go from there um so i think what we'll do we'll go comfy we'll go lapras um what do we want in the back what do we want in the back of course um hmm we want gudra i think gudra is not bad helps against the amoongus a lot so does the ferrothorn um uh Urshifu is decent as well with the sash but not up top um i think we'll go ferrothorn as a kind of fall back on everything else and we'll lock in this is going to be a very tricky match very tough match i think i'd feel a lot well would i feel a lot better if we had the sash on comfy not really because i think we've got to contend with the surf from the sneasel anyway um it's just a very strong team in the current format and if you haven't got specific ways to kind of shut it down which i don't feel like we've got um uh, it becomes very difficult okay so we are going to see bravery and we're going to see uh urshifu come up for my opponent i think it is the dark fighting urshifu let me just check if i've got this right have my has my stream taught me well enough here all right no no <laughs> i'm letting you guys down okay it's the water water one so the options are we've got the we definitely have an option to try and trick room here it's whether or not my opponent doubles into us or not now that would make sense to kind of uh stop us setting the trick room but if we can get the trick room off uh we can pretty much go to town on my opponent to be honest um i'm kind of tempted just to protect here but i think we have to max guard that's the only that's the only problem because um 
they can go through the protect with Urshifu's ability. So I think, yeah, um, Max Guarding is probably the best play for us. We are wasting a turn of our, um, <clears throat> our G Max, but at the same time, it does help keep Lapras a little bit safer. The problem comes when um, they double into Comfy, if they do, because obviously then we lose our speed control, we lose our trick room, and then Lapras is in it. A really awkward position going into the next turn. Kind of hoping we see the bravery double up into the Lapras slot. Maybe close combat um, and then Urshifu doubling up in that slot as well. That would be ideal. We're going to see a close combat into the Max Guard like we expected and uh, a Rock Slide. So literally the worst thing that could happen here. So touch wood uh, is we get flinched. Um, but if we don't, Comfy pulling through will be able to get the Trick Room off. So that puts us in a phenomenal position going into this next turn. Uh, literally phenomenal position because now we can go for, um, I think rather than setting our weakness policy up, what we could do is go double into the Urshifu, to be honest. Or the other thing is we just go for uh, a Giga Drain into Lapras and get our uh, uh, resonance up. That gives us a little bit of protection against the Urshifu, sets us up for the next turn quite nicely. Uh, we'll get rid of the bravery, stop that from being a pain. Um, and we'll probably take a close combat for our troubles. But the thing is, it's, it's not too bad because the Urshifu, we can double into it the next turn. We get ourselves set up now, so that's the, the main thing. We get our resonance up, which is also super important for Lapras. Um, but my opponent doing all the right things, you know. They're not maxing just yet. They're kind of trying to stall out the Lapras. The fact that we've actually been able to pick up a knockout um, quite early on is, is, is a positive step for us here. Um, so we'll see. Close combat, yeah. Uh, makes sense too. I mean, we take that pretty comfortably for how powerful Urshifu is. Though they do get the uh, defense drop, so they are going to be susceptible to going down this next turn. Really, what we want to try and do is potentially get a rain up, um, and that'll help us in case the colossal is in the back later on, um, because it will allow us to. Uh, oh, that's the other bad thing here. So. Mm, uh, Lapras going to be put to sleep, which is not so good. Um, hmm. Okay. Unless it's a fast, unless it's a fast Amoongus, which you know it could be, could be. Let's have a look at my my opponent's team. It would make sense that it's faster because, and with the sash, like in all honesty, um. Just because it's got the bravery there, it can it can um, go along with the tailwind. I think um, I kind of want to go. I'm gonna go for the Urshifu here, and I'm gonna go for a resonance. It might not be sashed. Uh, it's likely that it is though. Um, we get the draining kiss. Gonna do a nice chunk of damage into this Urshifu. And make sure that Comfy sticks around for a, a little bit longer. Um, and did we get the right? Nah, they're they're a slow Amoongus. Okay. So, uh, it does put us to sleep. So we take a turn of sleep. We've got floral healing though that'll kind of help us uh, the next turn um, if we want. And that Urshifu's got to feel super threatened now. As long as the Comfy's on the field, um, you know, Urshifu's not in a great spot. So I think what we could potentially do this next turn is uh, maybe predict the Urshifu. Um, mm, we could actually pull a double switch to be honest. I just don't want Comfy going to sleep. That's the only thing. And I don't think they allow Urshifu to get uh, knocked out this turn. So I think what we'll do is we'll switch into Ferrothorn. And I think we'll go for a... Mm, I don't really want to go after the Urshifu just yet. I want to kind of get some damage onto the Amoongus if I can. So we'll go for a Freeze Dry there. If we get the one turn wake up, that would be useful. Um, It'd be annoying if I just played myself here and they actually just attack with Urshifu go for the close combat. Which they do. Um, that's, a sh that's a shame. And this is going to be bad if they actually double up um, with a close combat as well. Hmm. No, they go Surgeon Strikes. Okay. And that's not the worst. Could be could be worse. Could be way worse. Um, so. And Bob's probably actually takes the Urshifu down here, to be honest, I think. Um, which is kind of good in a way because then my opponent's only left with the Amoongus and um, well, whatever, whatever, whatever they've got uh, other Pokemon. We do lose Lapras, unfortunately, but um, it's it's done enough so far in the battle, I think. Um, and I, 
I feel now if we can get um, ourselves set up with our iron defenses, we'll be in not a bad spot. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll bring in Gudra because I do worry about Colossal as their last Pokemon. And that will be that will make things super tricky. It's Cobalion. Okay. Oh, Cobalion. Cobalion. That's fine. Um, I mean, they're probably going to max, but at the same time, we can just Iron Defense. And I think we're probably better off just attacking into the Cobalion. It's a little bit dangerous because it could have the weakness policy. I don't think it does, though. I think it's probably Assault Vest. Um, and I think at this point, Ferrothorn feels like it can probably win out once it gets a couple of um, Iron Defenses under its belt. We've got to be careful, of course, with the, the Cobalion. Um, it, it is probably going to try and max its attacks. No, boost its attacks, I should say, with its um, max uh, knuckle. But we'll see. As long as the Trick Room's up and we've got at least one more turn, so we'll be able to get at least one more Iron Defense up, which should put us in decent shape going into the next one. We do see the Sap Sipper come out, uh, getting activated by a Spore and the Amoongus trying to put the Gudra to sleep. So um, that is useful, and uh, that attack boost is going to be really good to help us against this lion um, and we do see the max knuckle here he's going to be into gudra we do take that pretty comfortably um of course it's not ideal um but it's not the worst thing in the world so like i said now we're going to be able to get on uh, the dimension set i thought we had one more turn we do not we do not so we'll get another iron defense up we'll go for another stomping tantrum into the cavalian uh, it's probably just going to max knuckle again, try and get to plus three with these max turns, it would make sense. Uh, but I still think uh, Ferrothorn's going to be in such a good position um, once uh, we get our three iron defenses up. And that should kind of lock it really from there. Because Amoongus, that's the problem with Amoongus. Like if you're coming up against Ferrothorn, it's like you've not got um, and any attacking options really against Ferrothorn. So Ferrothorn's such a good Pokemon to to kind of utilize, especially in a format where Amoongus is so kind of prevalent. And, you know, we've been using teams... Wow, that does a lot of damage. The defense boost is going to help out a lot. Ha! Huh. Okay, well, there we go. Didn't expect that to take us down, but I guess the stab there, you've got to kind of... Um, understand as well that the max knuckles kind of um it's capped out isn't it so it can't do that much damage plus one cobble iron doing a lot of damage but i mean we're managing to get our iron defenses up and if we can get one more up i think we're going to be we're going to be all right our Roarville does wear off which isn't great um and i don't really think that we're going to be able to get a trick room up to be honest we'll try we'll try there's not really much else i can do with comfy here i mean um, there's no need for, to heal floral healing. Uh, Giga Drain's not going to do very much. Neither is Draining Kiss. So, Trick Room, our best option. If they go for another um, Max Steel Spike into Comfy, I'm super happy with this. Uh, they're going to boost their defense, but that's it's fine. It kind of leaves room for Ferrothorn. Uh, we're going to see the Max Knuckle here into uh, the Ferro. But I mean, look at that. We take that. I know it's capped, but they are. That's uh, them at plus one. So, I mean, we take that pretty comfortably here. Um, so, me, I will probably get put to sleep. Spored. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put this to sleep, which is fine. I mean, we don't really need the trick room. I think at this point, my opponent's going to really struggle to deal with uh, the Ferrothorn. Now we are set up. We can leech seed if we want. I don't really know if it's necessary to do that. Um, of course, we can do. But like what I was getting back to before what I was saying before was with the Amoongus because Ferrothorn, even though we've not got like super effective attacks against the, the Amoongus, we're just going to be able to sit in front of its setup and out damage it and, you know, not affected by any of its kind of support options. I will go for the Leech Seed just in case uh, it does come in handy, depending on how much the, uh, the close combat does. Obviously, it's a much higher base attack, so it is going to be able to hit us a little bit harder. Cobalion is plus two as well. So it's not going to be something we have to just uh, forget about. It's going to still do decent damage, but um, they're dropping their defense all the time by doing this. I mean, we could have just went for the body press. It probably would have been a little bit safer, but um, considering critical hits and things can happen in this format, you know, you never been, there's nothing wrong with being too safe um, sometimes. 
do see the Giga Drain from the Amoongus. That looks like it's its only attack onto the Comfy. And uh, we do manage to get that Leech Seed, which will help us with that recovery here against the, the Cavalian. And Comfy staying asleep for one more turn. So we are going to be able to uh, get a little bit of health back. That should put us out of range of a close combat this next turn. And uh, a body press should be enough to get the uh, Cabalion and pick up the knockout. And then from there, like, I'm hoping my opponent just forfeits because there's not really a way out for them after that. Again, what we can do actually, rather than the Trick Room, if we get a cheeky little wake up here, we can go for a Floral Heal and into Ferrothorn just to make sure that we've got that little bit extra longevity. I think my opponent's kind of concentrating down on the, the Ferrothorn right now as much as they can, forgetting about the, um, the Comfy here. Uh, and that's what's so beautiful about Comfy, like it will sit next to Pokemon after they're set up and you know the Pokemon next to Comfy normally attracting so much attention it lets Comfy and it gives it all the room in the world to do what it wants, uh, supporting, being really disruptive and things like that. So um, in that respect, very, very good. See another close combat, we take that super well. It's plus two, that's nuts. It's nuts how uh, well we do take that. Now more Iron, defend uh, iron Bobs damage another giga drain but into the first one now trying to chip us down a little bit further here thinking if they could maybe just get a little bit extra off that would be enough but the body press now going to be enough to get the cabalion and um that kind of wraps up the game for us i think that the only thing like i was saying would lock the game up for them at that point would be a critical hit and well you never know it, they can always happen at the most unexpected times so that is what pokemon is all about isn't it you know uh, so we'll go for another Floral Heal into Ferrothorn. Hopefully we get the wake up now. We've had two turns of sleep, so we do manage to. And um, we are going to get this tasty, tasty health back for our little Ferrothorn. And we'll be able to kind of just... I wonder how much a body press is going to do to Amoongus. It has got the defense boosts, obviously, that... Um, well, the defense boost that the Cabalion kind of give it, but I don't know. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's it's resisted as well. So that's that's pretty nice damage. Um, they do have Giga Drain, of course, that they can uh, utilize. Um, but we'll just continually do that. There's no harm in doing so. And we'll go for a Trick Room. Because we'll be able to get a Trick Room up now unless the Amoongus spores. Now they're going for the Giga Drain. Which is fine. And I think maybe... Mm, nah, maybe... I was going to say maybe two Body Presses gets it. But I don't think it will. I think it'll be... Oh, uh, maybe, maybe. Depends on the roll, I guess, now. Because um, we got the Trick Room up, this next one might get the Amoongus, and that'll kind of shut the game down quickly. So, that should be good. Wow. This one's dragged on for ages. I looked down at the time before, when we just had the cover line and the Amoongus out. It was 12 minutes, and then five more minutes have passed. So, this one has dragged out. But, I mean, I guess it's a good example for those of you out there that, that, that can see how good Ferrothorn can be in some situations. You know, I even got to the point where... They hadn't maxed, but we were in a position where it's like, I'm not worried now. Ferrothorn is going to be able to like clean up from this point, you know. Um, and it's always nice to have that fallback. Um, when you're using quite like teams like GMAX, Lapras and stuff like that, where teams are potentially likely to try and stall you out. And if you can't get the momentum that you need in those first few turns, you can kind of sit back a little bit and relax knowing that you've got something like a Moongus, um, Ferrothorn in the back which can come in and kind of play your opponent its own game once uh, Lapras is reverted back to its normal form. So good game to my opponent, nice way for us to start off and uh, we'll jump into our next one. Let's go for Mustard 2 music in this next one and um, hopefully it's a little bit quicker. Um, I would like to try and get the, uh, the Max uh, Gudra going in this game. That would be good. And also, I did, I've got, um, I actually had um, another Lapras build as well. I'll throw it in with all the, the team pists when I put them up on Monday. But um, it was with, uh, I didn't have Gudra in the team. So I had uh, Life Orb, Lapras with um, Talonflame. So we could get, it would act a bit like the uh, the Whimsicott there with, that we saw in Series 5 and prior to that. Um, but for I obviously had Comfy in the team to, to help out Lapras as well, but I had Crocodile in the team because, see, when you're playing Lapras, you know, uh, Draco's ult can be a 
a huge problem for you to deal with. So I was like, ah, Crocodile does an amazing job. So I actually did some calc, slap the weakness policy on the Crocodile so we can max and then we can proc the weakness policy with Comfy as well and kind of keep it topped up healthy and stuff like that. So, and it worked out pretty nicely. So I do have that variant of the team. We've got Concordur in there as well. So we've got a really nice solid trick room mod in that team. Um, and that one's actually got Amoongus, not the Ferrothorn. Um, but it's uh it is interesting very interesting it's got a lot of the same kind of elements as this team but uh obviously just with different items and a few different uh pokemon selections but uh let me know let me know in the comments down below if you would like to uh if you'd like to see that variant as well and um, because we can always i can always feature that um as well okay right well let's try let's try and see if we can uh hopefully find an opponent it's it's proving a little bit difficult okay we finally found someone that took forever to take we've got crow vgc so um playing a series six team looks like and um we were just talking about draco's ult and uh there lo and behold there he is so there she is okay so my opponent playing talent flame inteleon uh draco's ult uh Moongus, from Arena and the Braviary. So, hmm. It is tricky, indeed. Uh, very tricky. Um, because they've got the auto speed control with the tailwind from the Talonflame. We don't have fake out here, so it makes it it makes it awkward. Um Inteleon, obviously. I would, don't worry too much about Inteleon, to be honest. Um I think what we might do is go Gudra though. Um I like Gudra a lot. You've got to watch out for uh, things like Primarina, but at the same time, we do have Ferrothorn again that we can fall back on. Um, okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll go Arcanine. No, we won't go Arcanine. We'll go Comfy, we'll go Gudra, we'll go Arcanine, and I think we'll go Ferrothorn as our last one. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, I feel comfortable. Like, if we're looking at the Ferrothorn specifically as an end game as well, we can identify. This is always a good place to look right here, team preview. What do you need to get rid of for the Ferrothorn to kind of win out? And I would say Talonflame. Maybe the Bravery. But if you get rid of those two, Ferrothorn's going to have no issues. So it's always good to kind of spot that in team preview. You probably A lot of you probably do this already. Um, and then figure out how you're going to go about beating those Pokemon. But for uh, some of the new players, it's not, it's a nice little thing to just think about team preview, especially if you've got a Pokemon like Ferrothorn, where you can literally just create an end game position where you can't lose without severe hacks or bad RNG um, in a lot of situations. You know, and just just look in there and just kind of spot on what the threats are and go on, go on from there. Okay, we're going to see Drickazult and the big bird so big bird probably bravery gonna go for a tailwind i'd imagine we've still got to be very careful around um <sighs> the draco zolt because you know i can potentially i think what we'll do we'll go trick room and hmm, thing is i can't switch in i can't switch in arcanine here very freely because of the the big bravery um and they are probably gonna max now we could go double into Draco's ult and then go for an outrage into it as well. And that will probably get it, I would imagine. Or we could boost our attack and go for it. I think Draining Kiss into Gudra. We'll try this, we'll try this. Um, yeah, I, I like my ideal situation. It's a nice lead for my opponent. They're kind of pinning us here. Like I really want to be able to get Arcanine on the field so I can at least slow down that Draco's ult a little bit but it doesn't look like that's going to happen um problem is with going for this play as well we are still going to boost um the bravery's attack with this max wormwind so it's it's not ideal on any level but what if we can get away with this turn get rid of the Draco's ult here maybe maybe they are maxing themselves whatever they're maxing though is slower than a gudra which is interesting um we can maybe get the trick room the next turn. Attention. Depends. Depends what we see. So it is the Drake result coming out from my opponent. We will put ourselves on plus one, which is a positive. And if we don't see a tailwind here, they don't I'm pretty sure we have to see a tailwind. Um get... No, what are we doing? It's the Giga Drain, that's what we needed. Oh my god, what am I doing? Okay, well we don't. I mean <laughs> what are we doing? We are gonna get the max wormwind off, but 
Dear Lord. What are we playing at? <laughs> See, if we got the plus one there, we take the Dracos all down. And then we're in a position where we don't have to worry so much about the bravery of the next turn. Now, we're going to take a Wormwind in return. Into Comfy. You mad, mad man. You mad, mad man. Okay, we go for the Trick Room. Because I think... Uh, yeah, we're in, a, we're in a really rough spot. Um, we'll probably see a Tailwind here, maybe. Um, do I go after the bird? The bird now. Hmm. So they could steal spike into bravery, potentially. Probably better steal spike and not boosting that attack like any more than it needs to be. Okay, this is mad madness. I don't know what's going on. This is like the biggest car crash <laughs> of the game ever. Why did I drain in case? I'm not thinking. Okay, well that, that makes sense, that switch, because then they're thinking we'll go for another one into that slot. Thankfully, we managed to take it from the bravery. We're going to get rid of the bravery, which is always a good thing. We do have the floor healing that we'll be able to take advantage of next turn, which is also beneficial because we're going to get a trick room up. The issue is, obviously, we're slower than the uh, the Draco Salt, and um, we're not going to be able to uh, take advantage of our trick room too much with our Gudra. Must be like min speed Draco Salt. Because we're not very... We've got no investment in speed in our Gudra. And Gudra's not like the fastest of Pokemon. Kind of... It's kind of strange. Well, I guess it's not so strange. You maybe want to just bulk it out a lot more. And you've got the Tailwind. So, you know, you're not worrying about Dragapult in this format. So I guess you probably don't need to go as fast with something like Dracozolt as you, you probably have done in the past. Thing is, though, now... We've got, a, we've got a couple of options. We can go Draining Kiss into Draco's ult. We can go Floral Healing into Gudra. Um, I think we'll go Draining Kiss into Draco's ult. And I'm going to try and get a Max Overgrowth into Primarina. Um, we may just lose Gudra though. We've got the Draining Kiss off. This should take down the Draco's ult. Oh, it doesn't. Wow. Huh. Actually survives. Doesn't gleam. Oh, Gudra hanging on, hanging on. Hopefully the Draco's ult attacks into Comfy here. Yeah, it is. Okay. And with that defense boost, we take that pretty comfortably. This is great because now we should. Are we going to get the Primarina? Yeah, we get it. Okay, so that's ideal. Um, <laughs> I can't believe the Draco's ult hung on through that training kiss. Man. That's pretty good. So we'll get it the next turn. Gudra somehow... Uh, surviving by the skin of its teeth on 2 HP. So, um, yeah, Gudra is just like the, the most tankiest of tank Pokemon. So, I mean, it's nice to be able to kind of show that in this match, even though it's a bit of a mess. But, I mean, um, at least you know you've got a little bit of um, security kind of fall back on with the defenses of the team if you do click the wrong button. Like I've been doing. But it, it's going to work out. It's going to work out fine. Because then you see the Inteleon come in. And we know we're going to be able to get this Draco Zolt. We can go for a power whip into the Inteleon. And uh, we've got Ferrothorn in the back. And I mean that's the, the big thing here. The Ferrothorn's going to come in and be able to just war whatever the Inteleon has. So um, yeah. We'll go for the Drain Kiss. And that will pick up the Knockout. And um, a power whip should get the Inteleon here. Um, should be good but I mean Gudra is definitely a Pokemon to pay attention to this format I think um, I think it's just getting better and better uh, as the last two formats like last format we saw a little bit of usage from it it handles Sun super well um, and I think this format it's kind of coming into its own so very good game to my opponent um, a bit of a yeah a bit of a all over the one that one the first match was fine wasn't it so we'll we'll take that Um Draining Kiss and just giving ourselves the disadvantage turn one straight away. Um, <laughs> if we just get get drained, it would have been so much easier, so much quicker as well. My god. Never mind. Right, we'll get this rental team for you, friends, and uh, then we'll we'll be hitting the road. And we will, we will. We'll make it public for you, my friends. And uh, if you try it out, have a lot of fun with it. Like I say, if you do try it, let me know. I'd love to hear your uh, your thoughts on it. And uh, 
here is the uh, rental code. So there we go, my friends. Thank you so much for tuning in as always and joining me today. As always, it's uh, it's a pleasure. And um, thank you so much for all the support recently, all the kind words, comments, and support for the channel. It really means a lot to know that this sort of content is really helping you guys and uh, you're enjoying it, the, 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 the main thing. So um, hop over to our Discord if you want to get further in depth with team building and getting involved in a little community because we've got a great Discord channel over on uh, on Di we've got a great community over on Discord. What I meant to say. Um, so yeah, the link will be down in the description anyway. Do drop a like on the video. It does really help support the channel in general. Um, you wouldn't believe. Uh, if you're new to the channel, do subscribe as well so you don't miss any of this sort of content as well as general Pokemon guides and other Pokemon goodies that we, we cover here on the channel. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, take care of yourselves. Have a great rest of your day, whatever time of day it is. And I'll see you all for another one very soon. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.